What's going on, Soul Strong Nation? Justin here at our new tackle shop in Winter Haven, Florida. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about a new product that pretty sure many of you have not really heard about. And that is the 13 Fishing AL13 Spinning Reel. This little ditty came out at iCast 2022, started hitting retailers in about January of this year, 2023. I've had about six months of use on mine. One of our inshore coaches, Pat Ogletree, has caught some really nice redfish on his. And honestly, there's a whole lot going on in this reel. Now I know it's blacked out, looks great, feels pretty good, 180 bucks, but I think it might be stealth mode, not just because it's blacked out, but because a lot of people aren't talking about it and it's flying under everybody's radar and I don't know why because it's actually pretty cool. And so what I wanna to talk to you guys about in this video is not so much the specs about how much line does it hold and what's the drag and what's the weight of the reel, what's the gear ratio. That's really not what most people wanna know. They wanna know what's under the hood of this reel. What makes it special? Why is it important? And to learn those finer details, I met with Matt Baldwin, the product director over at 13 Fishing, and we went in depth talked about all the aluminum construction on this reel, talked about where all the seals are located, why that's important, the line roller, which was something I overlooked a lot, and I thought that was pretty cool, and I'll break all that down here in this video for you guys, so check it out. All right, so I've got a lot of parts and pieces here on this table, uh, and didn't gut the entire reel for the sake of time, but gutted enough just to be dangerous. So, in this video, what we are not going to do is we are not going to talk about how much does it weigh? How many ball bearings does it have? What is the drag? What is the gear ratio? This information can be found in this clip right here, or if you want to know more about this size or any other size AL13, it's over at fishstrong.com. You guys can check it out there. We're really talking about what makes the reel tick. What is the AL13? What is it made out of? How is it sealed? What is the drag system like, which is proprietary? That's kind of a cool, unique design that I learned about. The line roller, something completely overlooked. I don't know why more companies aren't doing something like that. And just kind of determine, should this be the next spinning reel in your inshore tackle lineup? We're gonna find out. So where do we start? The AL13, this is my personal, this is the 3.0 size. Uh, the AL13's got them in a couple different sizes. They go from 2.0 to 6.0. All intents and purposes, it's pretty similar to you know a 2500 size up to a 6000 size. Uh, generally speaking, um, the sizing's intrinsic here to 13 fishing, but 3.0, pretty similar to a 3000 size spinning reel. The first thing if we're gonna talk about the body, uh, the AL13 is all aluminum construction. Now, a lot of companies will say aluminum construction, and what they're really saying is they've got an aluminum body, aluminum spool, aluminum handle, that's pretty standard. This takes it even further. This is an aluminum body, aluminum rotor, bale wire and bale armature, handle, everything. So, why does that matter? Well. Other than the fact that aluminum is incredibly durable, so this is really meant to be a kick it around reel. Uh, if you're a captain or if you, you're rough on your gear, a live bait guy, um, gonna be fishing around heavy structure, run the risk of dropping it, dinging it, damaging it. Aluminum is a tried and true material. Uh, but also, if you're fighting fish around structure, the rigidity that aluminum provides, most rotors are made out of a composite plastic material. The fact that you got a metal rotor um, for under $200, I think this is 180 bucks, you're not gonna find that for for that price point with that all aluminum construction. A lot of, a lot of guys that target big fish that want all aluminum everything are dropping hundreds of dollars. So if you don't want any flex here at the rotor, the bale armature, and you want something that is super rigid and is gonna keep that main gear and pinion gear in perfect alignment, um, it's gonna withstand you know getting nicked around and, and not damaged, this is the type of reel for you. Now the next thing I want to go into is uh, what 13 Fishing is calling their Cool Stop Drag System. Now what really is that? What does that fancy name mean? This stuff is pretty cool and Matt Baldwin, the product director at 13 Fishing, we went in depth on this stuff uh, and I learned a great deal about drag systems. So this material here uh, over the, let's say, 30, 40 years plus that spinning reels have been around, I mean, they've been around a lot longer than that, but traditionally, drag systems have been made from either felt uh, or carbon fiber, sometimes cork. But in the case of the AL-13 and some other spinning reels that AL-13 Fishing is making, they use what's called Cool Stop. This is a polymer material that is unique to the brand. 
Uh, and what they found is, unlike carbon fiber, this material is going to maintain its integrity much, much longer than traditional carbon fiber under heat and pressure. So traditional carbon fiber is etched and the discs are flat. And what happens is those discs get stacked, pressure is applied from the top of the spool from the drag cap, and that's what creates your drag. But over time, that carbon fiber etching will wear down and it will wear down from the center outward. Now, what, what else is unique about this material is that it's kind of beveled, really hard to see here in this video. Maybe another zoomed in clip will help uh, showcase that beveled shape. Um, it's like dome shaped and they're stacked in such a way that when pressure is applied to these discs, the heat and pressure will be applied at the center, but it will dissipate outward and slanted downward. So what does that do? That doesn't concentrate all the heat in the center of the disc, it disperses it evenly outward, so it's going to lengthen the amount of time this material will uh, maintain its shape and form and utility, but it will also dissipate heat much better, so it's going to result in a smoother, cooler drag. That drag's not going to get super hot when a fish is burning a ton of line, um, so if you need to palm your spool, you're not going to have to worry about that. It's just a really unique design, and it's a type of drag material that really should never wear down. The other important aspect that most inshore guys want to know about whatever spinning reel they buy is how well is the reel sealed and where are those seals located? This is information I don't think a lot of manufacturers uh, showcase exactly how many seals are in the reel and where are they located. On the AL-13, I was able to identify six seals and I'm going to show to you guys. I believe there's seven in total. I did not tear down all of this reel, like I said, just enough to be dangerous. If you guys have completely gutted this reel, let me know where that seventh seal is. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, but just looking at it at surface value, uh, you've got a seal here at your handle entry point, one. You've got a seal on the other side of the reel where that cap is, two. You've got a seal here at the top of the locking nut, which goes above the rotor, three. You've got four and five here once you take the rotor off. What I can kind of show you guys, if I can get that to slide back on. There we go. You've got four and five right there. You've got a seal that's kind of like this ring. It's a separate piece that goes around the body. And when the cap here is tightened down over top of your anti-reverse clutch bearing, uh, pressure is going to be applied to this ring from top to bottom. And this seal right here, arguably the most important seal on the whole reel, is protecting the pinion bearing that is down here. You don't want to compromise that. Uh, but this is stacked in such a way where from top to bottom, the first seal, if water is going to come down from the spool, down the main shaft, okay, first contact point is going to be that seal there uh, holding the rotor in place. And then water would have to come up over this lip right here on the outside edge, make its way over the lip, and then down past this seal here to make contact with the pinion bearing. So it's stacked in such a way that it's effective. Water is going to have a very difficult time getting down to that pinion bearing, which you just you don't want to compromise. That's what makes that sound when you turn the handle and you're like, man, why does my reel sound raspy? It's probably that pinion bearing. You don't want to. You don't want to mess with that. You don't want to have that be compromised. Um, and I think 13 Fishing did a good job at the locations at which they placed their seals, and they did so in such a way that when you turn the handle, you don't feel a whole lot of resistance, which is a big plus from my perspective. Because a lot of times you are sacrificing smoothness for the sake of sealing, and I don't think you have that issue with this reel. So I think that's a big thumbs up. Now the last little piece I want to talk to you guys about, and I feel like this is super overlooked, I'm going to set this down there and zoom in on it, is the line roller itself. So this piece right here is often overlooked by a lot of anglers, okay? Most line rollers are made out of, I believe, a stainless material, and a lot of times they're coated. Gold or silver is what you're going to see. In the case of the AL-13 and a couple other reels by 13 Fishing, it is a full ceramic line roller. Now, why is that important? Well, because a lot of these coatings on other reels can wear down uh, being exposed to the elements, and when the coating starts to wear down on the line roller, it's going to do what? Well, it's going to corrode. You're going to get pitting, you're going to get corrosion spots, and your braid is making contact with this thing. I think what a lot of people are curious about on a line roller is, is it a bearing or a bushing? Well, 
in this case, they're bushings, but I don't think that's much of a concern. Um, this isn't meant to be a finesse reel. It's meant to be a get her done reel. Um, so as long as you keep that, you know, slightly oiled and rinse it down and check it every now and again, it takes a minute or two. I don't think there's any issues with this being a bushing. I think the fact that this is a ceramic line roller, which means it's going to maintain that smoothness indefinitely, it's not going to chip, it's not gonna crack, it's a piece that I feel like a lot of companies are overlooking, and I did not think about that until Matt showed me and explained to me the value of having a ceramic line roller. So if you're a big braid guy, you're gonna lock down your drag, you're gonna pull some fish away from structure, and you, you know this is gonna be subject to the elements and a lot of exposure, this is a great little piece to have on a spinning reel. So to bring this video to a close, we always talk about all the awesome features that a product has to offer, but we wanna remain unbiased and objective. What are the cons or things to consider about this reel to determine whether it's right for you or not? And in truth, the AL13, it's not a lightweight reel. It's not a finesse reel. But at the same time, that's not what this reel was designed to be. Um, it's a little bit heavier than al other aluminum reels on the market. So if you're looking for an aluminum bodied reel and you want that rigidity, you could probably shave an ounce and a half to two ounces off. Uh, even the 2.0 size is at that 10 and change ounces. A um, little bit heavier, but Again, it's an aluminum body construction. That's something you gotta be mindful of if you need the utility of that type of reel, because it's not gonna be a lightweight finesse reel. There are other reels geared towards that application. And the other thing to consider is that it's only been on the market six months at the time of filming this video. I've only had six months of use out of my personal AL13. Again, I've really enjoyed it. My dad caught his biggest redfish on artificial using the AL13 for my birthday. Great, great trip. I've loved it so far, but six months of use is not enough time to determine if this is gonna be the do-it-all bulletproof reel in the long term. After one year of use, I'll do another review about this reel and let you guys know what my thoughts are. But until then, let me know what your thoughts are. Have you used the AL13? Do you have any questions that were not covered in this video? I would love to hear from you guys. And keep in mind, these are offered over at fishstrong.com. If you are an insider member in our club, you guys are gonna get free braid, you're gonna get free braid spooling service, and you're gonna get free shipping. So all you gotta do is pop on a leader, put it on a rod, and go catch some big fish. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the water soon.